I know I start off a lot of videos saying that I'm excited about it, but I'm really excited about this video. We are going to try out some Amazon cream makeup. I also have the powder and some brushes along with the primer and setting spray. I did buy a brush set and in that brush set, it comes with the Duo Flat Buffer and Pointed Powder, which is this first brush right here. And then I got in the same package, the Duo Angle Contour and Powder Brush. Very pretty. They look like really nice brushes. They're really, really soft. And then the last brush that I bought is this one right here, and it's a double head makeup brush, and it is a powder and concealer brush. It is packaged nicely. Oh, it's a very nice concealer brush. I like when it's nice and thick like this. And then, again, the powder brush. These are really soft. These are nice brushes. I'm not one for the glitter in the middle, but especially because they don't match, but it's not a big deal. So these are supposed to be similar to Saint as well. This is one that Saint does not have a brush similar to, at least in my opinion. However, this brush is very similar to the 30 second hack brush from Saint. Very similar. Mine's dirty, so I apologize. I probably should have cleaned it before filming, but you can tell that they are very similar. The Amazon one is just a little bit bigger. but this one is exactly the same. And then this brush doesn't have an exact dupe. I would say it's similar to the blush and bronzer, I believe this one was called. It has a nice fluffy powder brush end, which is what I'm assuming this one is like, but it's almost more like the blush end. And then the contour end, I, I mean, I wouldn't say it's similar at all but that's probably the most similar of the brushes. So the first thing I'm going to start off with is the primer, of course, and I did pick up the, well, all of the products I purchased are from the same brand, and it is called Ruby Kisses, and I'm going to try out the hydrating primer. It's more, it kind of feels silicone-y, and it has an interesting smell to it, almost. It definitely feels silicone-y, which I am concerned about because with cream makeup, I can't imagine this going well, which this could be my fault. Let's start off with the cream contour kit. It says 3D Contour Artist Cream, and then on the back it has a step one, a step two, and a step three. So step one they want me to correct, so we're going to follow their map. Inside it has a little plastic piece. So it wants me to correct, and it looks like, so I'm going to, I think I'm going to use this brush right here and I'm gonna go ahead and dip into it's more of a yellow shade here they don't have shade names so I apologize and it wants me to go around the eyes the nose and the outside corners of the mouth so let's do that this brush is definitely very soft. It does not agitate my skin at all. It seems to blend pretty well. So the next step is to highlight or define. So, and it shows the center of the forehead, right above the cheekbones, and the cupid's bow, the chin. So let's do the same thing. I'm going to switch sides of the brush and use the more pointy side. And I'm going to use the shade right here. I'm just gonna use a little bit more of that first shade and kind of go where I would with my Saint products. So far we're looking crazy, which seems about right, especially for Saint. And then the next step is to contour. So I'm gonna use this shade right in here and I'm gonna contour and it says the same thing, cheekbones, the perimeter of your face and your jawline. I am using a second brush. I'm using the one that says contour specifically I'm also going to contour my nose. I just want to see how it's going to look. I'm going to go back in with the highlight shade and do the center of my nose just to brighten it. Let's go ahead and go on to blush. So I'm going to use the one color that 
they put in here. I'll use this brush. It picks up really nicely. I'm not really having issues with the brushes. Whoa. Very pigmented. I dampened a beauty blender. So I'm just gonna blend everything together. So far, it's really working pretty nice. I don't really have the, I guess I could use the same highlight shade for under my eyes. So I do like it a little bit brighter. If I were to use this product again, I just wouldn't follow the map. I would do more of what I know for cream makeup. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the brightener shade, which is this one right here. I'm using the concealer brush. Oh yeah, that's much better. I really didn't need much to brighten my under eyes. It still looks a little dark. I may have to use some powder today to brighten that up, but still overall, it's not bad. I have to say though that even though this isn't a horrible palette for $5.99, I would still prefer Saint products for a couple reasons. One, you don't have to buy a whole new palette to replace one color. And two, I feel like you can be custom color match so the shades are exactly what you need and not just a variety and you know, good luck trying to find the exact shade that you need. And thirdly, this is quite big. You don't need that big of a compact for the cream makeups. You could technically just get away with four colors with Saint. However, with that being said, I do think that if you're interested in Saint, that this cream palette is a good way to see if you even like cream makeup. I think this is look pretty similar to Saint. I'm gonna have to do a side-by-side -side to see if it's exactly like it or if it's extremely similar. Now that we've done the creams, let's go ahead and set with powder. I bought the same exact thing, but in the powder palette. Here is a close up. Now this product is not anything that Saint carries. They don't carry powder products except for a setting powder. So I'm going to go ahead and start setting and I'm going to use this shade right here for under my eyes, but I'm going to use my dampen blender and just kind of pick that up and then I'll set. I've really been enjoying doing powder under my eyes lately. I don't know why. I don't know what's changed, but it seems to be doing really well and I'm not mad about it. I'm gonna use this brush right here and I'm gonna pick up this shade right here to set a couple more areas. I'm gonna go under where I contoured and I am dusting this off on the back of my hand. I'm not looking for coverage so much as I'm looking for it to just set the makeup. For the contour shade, I am gonna stick with this shade right here and I'm gonna do the exact same areas because I know some people like to set everything and I'm normally not one that does that, but in the summertime, I do think that it is helpful, especially if you want it to last all day. It seems to blend really well. It's not sticking. It does look a little muddy right here, but I'm hoping we can fix that. I don't have a blush in here, so I am going to have to go outside of this palette and we're gonna have to go into Laura Lee's powders. I wanna try and match the Amazon shade. And I think the closest I have is Strawberry Ice Cream, which is right here. It's a very pretty color. I don't think I've used this one yet. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, I'm really enjoying the way this is working out for me for once. Trying something new may be worth it, but I still see a patch right around here. So let me see if I can fix that. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and spray. I'm gonna use the Ruby Kisses 24 hour long lasting spray. And we're gonna see if we can kind of get that to fix itself. Okay, I do not like the smell of this. I, I just don't like the smell of it. It does not smell right to me. I'm not a fan. The mister itself is not bad. I It mists really nicely actually. Okay, so here's the completed face. I added my eyes, my brows, and my lips, obviously. The cream contour and powder, y'all, I'm impressed. So do I think it's exactly like Saint? No, I do think that is a, it is a great beginner palette for cream products. And I think that this is a great way to get your foot inside the door to see if you even like cream. But I still prefer Saint just because I can customize my palette. I don't need all these colors like yeah the blush is pretty I would use it again but in this palette I realistically only used the four shade oh you know what there's a highlight like an illuminator so let's try that I think I'm gonna use my finger yeah it's more of an illuminator oh yeah just blend that in just a little bit of a shine it kind of looks more of like a rose gold in person that's pretty so I do like that 
All right, so I really used, I used my, the contour shade. I used the blush, the brightening highlight, and then the all over highlight, and now the illuminator. So five shades now. Whereas if I were to use Saint, I can pick my blush, I can pick my illuminator, and I can have my custom palette for me, basically. So I can have my own highlight shades that I would want for my face. This one right here is a little too yellow for me, but it still worked. So I think overall for $6, this is a win. Along with the powder, I think the powder works great. This is a great powder. You just don't need all these shades. Again, I only used a couple of them. So actually I wonder, I should have used this for my under eyes. Grr. I wonder if I can use a little bit more, let's see. That is brightening. So here's the one with like a yellow undertint versus the normal. I do like that. For $6, I really think these are great deals. And again, if you're not sure if you like cream makeup, this is the way to go. You can really see if you like it or not. I'm gonna have to do a side-by-side -side comparison to half and half, and I wanna do a wear test with it to see how long it lasts. The setting spray, again, I'm not a fan of the smell to it. It doesn't really linger, so that's the good part, but the mister itself is really nice. I mean, that is a good spray. It's not aggressive. It has a very fine mist, and I do appreciate that. It's so hard to find a good... The primer, I mean, it's primer. I don't think I felt any difference in hydration for my face, but I mean, my face feels fine. It feels normal. It's really hard to gauge primer. On the first try you kind of have to just kind of wait and see how it goes so i'll update you on this but for right now it's primer i hope you enjoyed the video and that you have a wonderful week wherever you are and i will see you next time bye